Hello, good evening. How are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Good evening, teacher. I'm very well. How about you? I'm great, man. I'm great. Nice. How, how was your how was your weekend? How was Labor's Day? Uh, it was very good. Was it good? I, we, I had a, a lot of fun. You had a lot of fun? What do you do? Uh, I I I went to uh, to play some baseball games. You went to play some baseball games? Yes. Where? Where? That's awesome. I, Where? I went yeah, I, I went to Guasapa and also Aguilares. Guasapa and Aguilares. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. What about Guasapa you? Teacher? And Aguilares. Well, I stayed home. I had a lot of things to do here. Okay. I wanted to go out, but, you know, I had to stay home. All right. right. All right. So, anyways, it was good. So, what about the rest, guys? Where did you go? What do you do, guys? What do you do during the weekend, Labor's Day? How was it? Anything fun? Did you go to the beach? Did you spend time home? What do you do, Raul? Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Yeah. Hey, hey, good evening, teacher. <laughs> Sorry. Teacher, in my case, uh, I spend time in my house only Netflix. Watching Netflix? All right. Yes, okay. I watch Cuphead. 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 Oh, really? Cuphead, like the video game? No, the series on Netflix. Yeah, but there is, there is a, yeah, there, there is a video game called yes, Cuphead. Too. And I think they made a, a TV show after it. Is that the one you watched? Cuphead? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Cuphead it's show. a video game and series, too. You are right, my friend. And I saw Arcane. Do you know? Yeah. I haven't watched... I haven't, I haven't watched neither of them. No, I haven't watched either of them. Um. But uh, but yeah, I, I do know what that is. Yeah, yeah. It's just those those um those TV shows are based on video games. So video games that that I don't play, you know. Yes, and these right. video games are very popular. Yes, both of them are very very popular. You're right. You are right about that. Okay, very good, very good, guys. So, anyways, welcome, guys. It's good to see you. Uh, how about you, Yancy? How was your weekend? What do you do? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I, I am, I am, I am very well. I, I have, I, I have a rest, very rest. You rested a lot? Yes, teacher. All right, okay. That's good. Sleep is good for the body. You know, so, so, um, sleeping, yes. sleeping is good. All right, so guys, let's get started. So today, guys, we are going to go over modal verbs, okay? Very interesting topic, guys. All right, we're going to use, we're going to learn how to use three modal verbs specifically. All right. Um, so, um, we're going to learn how to use adverbs, okay? How motor verbs and adverbs can relate 
to each other. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna go over Motoverse and we're gonna have some practice. Okay. So by the end of this class, you will know how to use you know models and adverbs to talk about meaning. All right. So before we get started, guys, what is a so what is an adverb? I think I taught you what an adverb was, right? I remember I taught you what an adjective was, and then I taught you what an adverb was. So what is it, guys? Do you have any idea? What do you think? What is what is an adverb? What does what does an adverb do? What what I'm sorry? Uh, the adbo, the adverbs are the word modify the the verbs. Okay, all right. So adverbs are words that modify verbs. That is correct. They modify verbs. They modify three things. What are what are the other things that they modify? They modify adverbs, verbs, and adjectives, right? So those are the three things they modify, okay? Three things, guys, okay? Three things they modify, right? Adverbs, verbs, and adjectives, okay? All right, and what is a modal? Who's heard about modal verbs before? Who can tell me what a modal verb is? Tell me. Um, I think modal verbs uh, we can use to the to possibilities to yeah possibilities and permissions prohibitions and something like that. Okay. Yes, you're right. They talk about permission, prohibition, abilities, right? Good job. So that's that's actually that's actually true. They talk about those three things. Okay. Very good, guys. Very good. So, a motor verb. Okay, who would like to help me read? What is a what a motor verb is? What is a motor verb, guys? <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, me teacher. We use mo moral verb to express ju judgment or to adopt a particular point of view toward a certain situation, event, or action. Great job. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. So, yes. Yes, guys. So, a motor verb, right? A motor verb is used to express judgment or to adopt a particular point towards a certain situation, event, or action. That is 100% correct. All right. So, anyways. So let's uh let's let's you know let's go deeper into it. Okay. So more verbs guys can show us if an event is likely to happen or not. Right? How how like how possible is an event how possible is it for an event to to happen? Is it really possible? Is it less possible, right? Motor verbs can help you determine these type of things. You know, so that's that's a way in which we can use model verbs, you know, model verbs, guys. And this is the main thing that we're going to study, right, are used as auxiliaries, OK, as auxiliaries, right? And some of you mentioned this, OK, they talk about possibility. They talk about obligation. They talk about prohibition. They talk about necessity, ability. You can see all that in, in the screen, right? So what would be an example of possibility, guys? Who can tell me? Who can give me an example of a motor verb used for possibilities? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Mm, okay. Maybe would be an adverb, not a moral verb. But it's huh. good, you know, we're getting there. 
What else? Uh, for example, it may rain. It may rain. Okay, so first for possibility, right? We can use it may rain. That is correct, right? So we can say, yes, it. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Oh, where is my presentation? Hold on, guys. I don't know what happened to it. All right, there we go. So, all right, so let's go back to this, guys. Okay, so let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, guys. All right, so we said, right, that we can say possibility would be it may rain today, right? Now, why is this a motor verb, guys? Where, where, where is the motor verb here? The motor verb is may. The motor verb is may. Exactly, right? So may, guys, we're talking about possibility, right? Obligation. What do we use for obligation? What would be an example of obligation, guys? Uh, for example, you should do the homework. Must. Okay, so we can say, we can say, right? Oh, Jesus. So we can say, you have to do the homework. We can say, right, you must do your homework. Mm -hmm. All right. So in this case, the model verb that we see here is? Must. Must, must. right? Very good. Prohibition. What do we have for prohibition? It's, it's cold. Good. It's cold. 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 Prohibition. Prohibition, guys, is something you're not allowed to do. That mm -hmm. is prohibition. Okay, Gabby. In this case, you shouldn't. Right? You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Or you can't, right? You can't do that. Right? Or you must not do that, right? You should not do that is, is, is like suggestion. It's not a restriction, you know? So let's say, you know, Oh, where is my? You, okay, you must not do that, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, necessity, what would we, what would we use for necessity? What do you think? You must. You must. You must give up. You must give up. Smoking. You must it's bad. Give it's up. bad for you. Smoking. You must give up smoking. Is this must? Is just for necessity. Okay. All right. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> ability. Right. Ability. What? What can we use for ability? Can. You can't. We can, we can use can. You can. You can play soccer, right? Mm -hmm. Very well. Right. You can play soccer very well. All right. What about for permission? Could you give me a piece of advice, for example? Could you give me right? Could you give me advice, right? Very good. Uh, what about willingness? When you volunteer, guys, yeah. Because I will, what is the meaning of willingness? I will, be for I will you do much. that for you. The The meaning of willingness is when you are willing to do something, okay, that you volunteer. To to have willingness is to volunteer yourself to do, to, to, to do something, okay, that you are... Um, it's like when we say tener ganas de... Got it? That is willingness, okay? 
Thank you. All right, very good. So yeah, to well on that, right? So anyways, that is willingness, guys, okay? All right, so if you notice, guys, we have different types of modal verbs here, right? So they help us, guys, when we use them as auxiliaries, right? They help us determine possibility, obligation, prohibition, necessity, ability, permission, and willingness. So let's go over each of them. So we can also, guys, use them to make requests, right? Uh, you can say, can I have, can I have some pizza, right? Or how would you make an offer? What do you think? Would you like uh, eat pizza? Would you like what? Uh, eat pizza or drink soda. Okay, so so you can say right. Would you right? Would you like to eat pizza? Okay, very good decisions. What about decisions? What do you think? What do you use for decisions, guys? I don't see any taxis, so I will walk. All right, so I don't see any taxis, so I will walk. All right, so let's see. Okay, yeah, we can say that, right? I will walk. What about suggestions? You should see a doctor, right? You should you should see a doctor, okay? Very good, guys. So that's you know that's that's basically you know the gist of it, right? That's that's usually why you know we are. Oh my God, what is that? That's usually why, guys, we use modal verbs, okay? All right. So um, why am I seeing this screen over here? All right, there you go. All right, guys. So modal verbs, guys, when they when we use them as auxiliaries, right? They can express a lot of things. So take a look at this, okay? So what is the what is the modal verb that we use for? You know, you must be quiet. That is obligation, right? Why? Because you have to. There is the explanation, guys. Is when we use must like this. It's the subject, the model, and the predicate. It's obligation because you have to. You don't have any any choice, right? If you don't have a choice, guys, a choice, right? It's obligation. Okay. Um, the second example. Who would like to help me read the second example? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. He mustn't. He mustn't. Uh, come or oh, he must he must not come okay so the second example says he must not come right he mustn't come all right this is how do we call this repeat guys prohibition 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 prohibition, prohibition right prohibition. Prohibition. don't say prohibition it's prohibition right so prohibition guys something that you are not allowed to do okay what about what about she what about the the third example read it guys. go ahead she can cook eight my go permission that, okay so this is for permission so she has the green light the green light guys is that you can proceed okay so uh, she can, she could, she may, she might go. How many motivers do we have here, guys? Four, four models. We have four guys. We have four motivers that we can yeah. potentially use. <clears throat> okay. We have four. He can't or he cannot or he may not go. Okay, it's not giving permission. So you're forbidding, right? Um, fourth example. Who would like to help me read the fourth? The Well, the next example, sorry. 
Me, teacher. Go ahead. He can't, cannot, may not go. Right? He can or cannot or may not go. Okay? So this is, hey, this is forbidden. Okay? So you don't have permission to go. Right? Very good. We will do it, right? This is a decision because, right, we have decided to, to do it. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You won't do it because you, right? It's refusal because you don't want to do it, period. They should stay at home. This is advice, right? Because it's good for them. So I am giving them an advice. Uh, can I say an advice, guys? Is that correct? I'm giving them an advice? No. We can't say an advice, right? We are, I'm giving them advice or some advice, right? Uh, I shouldn't or I shouldn't or I should not be lazy, right? It's because of necessity. Can I go there? Right, this is a request because we're asking for permission, okay? All right, so pretty much, guys, okay, one thing that you have to know is that, well, I have a couple of questions for you guys. The answers are here, guys, so you guys answer me. So, guys, if I talk about he, she, it, which is third person, am I going to change the motor verb, guys? Am I, am I going to add an S at the end? At the end of the modal verb or not? No, teacher. No. It's not correct. No, right? What about the verb that follows? What about the verb that follows the, the modal, right? Should I add an S if it is in third person? Can I, so can I say, guys? She can speaks. Is that correct? She can speaks. No teacher. No teacher. All right. She can speak. So we can say she can speak, right? Because the modal verb, guys, is an auxiliary, right? If we have, if we have an auxiliary, we are not going to use, guys. Uh, we're not gonna. We're not gonna change the the, the verb in third person. Okay, that's basically the logic behind it. Okay, uh, can I use guys a motor verb in as a gerund or as a present participle? You know, in ing form. No teacher. No, right? Can I use it in the past? Can I say she can it? She can. Can I say that? Do no, them. no teacher. <laughs> no teacher. Right? You cannot conjugate them. Okay, and that's the logic behind it. You cannot conjugate them. All right. What about um um? Should we use two in the middle, guys? Like, for example, when I say I like, right, I like to play video games. I like to play, right? When we have two verbs together, we should use, we should join them using the preposition to, right? However, when we have modal verbs, can I do that? Can I say you must to come to my house? Or no, I will to go? No. no. Oh. No. You can't use them like that. All right. Uh. What about? Um. What about guys? Can I say? Um. Do you do you can do you can cook? No. No. Why is that incorrect? The auxiliary. Because we are using two auxiliaries. Do is auxiliary. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And what is the other auxiliary? Can. It can. It can. All right. 
the other auxiliary is in, right? Good job, guys. Good job. All right. So yeah, all right. So that's that's basically, guys. You know the the basics of of how to use you know modal verbs, right? So now let's talk about possibilities, right? So what do we use for possibilities? We can use guys may or might. We could use good or we can use must. Okay. Now what is the difference between them both? If we say may or or may or or or, or might, guys, it means. It means what? Slight possibility. All right. And slight means little, right? Little possibility. All right. What about strong possibility? That would be must, right? And could is like kind of in the middle. So that is the difference, guys, between the, them both. Okay. Now remember, must can be used for obligation. However, it can be used for possibilities as well. Instead of using, we're gonna talk about models, guys, and then we're gonna talk about adverbs, okay? So let's talk about, you know, these models for possibility, right? Mm, hold on. Actually, let's let's spread them out, okay? We can use, guys, models, or we can use adverbs as well. For example, if we use them in, in this situation, okay? Now, we know that these are models, right? But why are these adverbs? What is the difference? Is maybe a model, is perhaps perhaps a model? No. No. No teacher. Hmm. All right, it's an adverb. Why, why is it an adverb? Because it modifies a verb, an adverb, or an adjective, okay? You can say it possibly or it definitely, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? Keep that in mind because we're gonna be using them uh, all, right? So maybe perhaps possibly or probably are the adverbs that we are gonna use for possibility, okay? So let's talk about them, guys. We're gonna go back here and let's use the whiteboard for a while. Now, let's talk about possibility, right? All right, and I want to use the model it may or it might mean, right? We want to say, right? So it may, it might, what was the other one? It could, it must. It could and it must, okay? So for example, let's say guys that Mm, that David, right? Your teacher, David. David has a cold, right? And David has a cold. So now, hey, you know, you're starting, you're starting to make deductions, right? In your head, you are chambrating, right? Ya, ya tienes el chambre en tu cabeza, right? Tienes resfriado, right? Right? So what might have been the case? So you can say, hey, David has a call. I'm going to give you the first one and you guys give me the other ones, okay? It may mean he stayed outside at night and got el sereno. You guys, do you know that this is something very Salvadorian and actually Colombian? A sereno, guys, doesn't exist, right? That's just, that. that is just, you know, something very Salvadorian, right? Otherwise, people wouldn't go out at night, guys. It's just humidity in the air. You know, it's nothing big, right? We always have humidity in the air. Maybe he said out, outside at night, right? Very good, right? So, guys, if I say, guys, it may mean or it might mean he stayed out at night, this is, there is a slight possibility, okay? We're gonna put it in here. Okay. So we have a slight possibility. All right. All right. That I stayed out at night, or there is a strong possibility, right? 
All right. So, guys, it may mean, so David has a cold, right? It may mean he stayed out at night, right? So, hay una poca probabilidad, y eso es lo que estoy diciendo, hay una poca probabilidad, o hay una, una pequeña probabilidad de que él haya, se haya quedado anoche afuera. Got it? All right. So, that's what we're using this model for, for right? So, I'm going to give you another one. Somebody else, give me, give me a gossip. Okay, quiero un chambre. Go ahead. Invent something. Right? About me, guys. It's okay, right? About me, right? Create a chambre about me. Uh, I saw the coach mm -hmm. eating pupusas. I saw the coach eating pupusas, right? Very strong chambre, man. Very strong. Right? So, un chambre <laughs> de primera, right? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, something. All right, very good. So I want everybody, guys, to complete, okay, complete. So you saw me outside eating pupusas, right? I saw the coach eating pupusas. With someone who was not his girlfriend. Okay, this is, this is the gossip, okay? So now you are going to say it could mean, it must mean, I want you guys, I want everybody to write it down in your notebook come, or come up with ideas. Todo el mundo, invéntese el resto del chambre, right? Usando it could or it must, okay? Y después me lo dicen, escriban en su cuaderno, right? You need to, you must write it down in your notebook, okay? Let's go. Let's go and I'm, I'm going to ask you in a moment. All right, all right, let's go, guys. Let's go. Invent, okay? Invent your worst. Teacher, I have one. 
Go ahead. I saw my best friend, my best friend eating hamburgers with a girl. It could his girlfriend. It's a good example. So I, I just need this part, right? You're gonna work with I saw the coach eating proposals with someone who was not his girlfriend. And you need to use it could or it must. That was the exercise. Couldn't. No. No, 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 no. All right. So, guys, the exercise is you're going to use the one example that I got here, and you need to say it could or it must mean, right? That No, your example is incorrect, sir. No. Infinity teacher. Hey, teacher. Teacher. Tell me. Um, teacher. Tell me. In the example, uh, it could we be with some else. It repeat could, not cool or cold. Oh, cold, but I'm sorry, cold. It cold. Good, good, not cold, could. Cool. Be with some else. It could be with someone else. Uh huh, someone else. Okay. Okay, yeah, no, but, but yes, okay, listen, guys, guys. No sé si me entendieron en inglés lo que les dije, guys. Van a usar esto. La primera oración, I saw the coach eating proposals with someone who was not his girlfriend. Y me van a hacer un chambre al respecto, right? Ah, it could mean, right? It could mean. Agréguenle mean, ¿ok? Mean. ¿Puede significar? What? That's what I want you to, to finish, ¿ok? Teacher. Tell me. It could mean he was with a sister, or it must mean he was with an old friend. She? Am I a she? Am I a she? You're saying she, right? The coach is a he, right? I think, I, I think I'm a he, guys. Teacher, I'm a female teacher. Hold on, all right, Enrique. All right, Cesar, Cesar. You give me the example, right? Hold on, guys. Hold on. Caesar, did you give me the example? It could mean he was with us with his sister. He was very good. He was with his sister. Very good. Exactly. Puede ser que haya estado con su hermana. Very good. Good job. Good job, Caesar. All right. Uh, yes. Next one. Um, it could. It could mean. He has another woman. He has another woman. Very good, right? Very good. As this empieza on a chamber, guys. Very good, right? It must mean. It, it must mean. It must what? mean. It must mean he has another home. <laughs> it must mean he has another home. Okay, I like that. Very good. What else? I have one. Yes, it must ahead. mean. It must mean he broke his relationship. He broke up, or he, uh, yeah, you can say he broke his relationship. His pre he actually quit his relation, his previous relationship, or he he got out of, of his previous relationship. You can say that. All right, very good, very good. What else, guys? What else? What else? Tell me. Give me more chamber. Teacher. Tell me. Teacher is correct. It must mean to eat pupusa with his girlfriend, or it could not mean to eat pupusa with someone that was not his girlfriend. It must mean that he. What are you trying to say? I'm not. I'm not exactly sure on what you're trying to say, guys. Hold on, I'm trying to fix my keyboard. But yeah, what are you trying to say in Spanish? Eh, él debería de comer pupusas con su novia. No, but, but in that case, that's not, that's not the exercise that we're doing. Because remember, the exercise that we're doing, guys, is that we're going to say, hey, debe significar que, right? So what oh, okay. must it mean, okay. okay? Okay, teacher. All right. So you need to tell me that. What does it mean, right? It must mean, right? Debe significar que. What? 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 Tell me. It so who else got an example? It must mean he was uh, unfaithful it must mean right he wasn't faithful very good 
All right. Very good. It must mean he wasn't faithful. Very good. What else? What else do you have? Teacher. Tell me. It could mean he got her his house. It could mean what? Got her his house. I'm not understanding that part. Got share his house. What is that? It could mean he got her his house or got his house her. I don't know. But but I I, I don't understand what they, what are you trying to say in Spanish? Uh, it could mean he brought her home or he took her home. Oh or Thank he you. took her to his house. Oh, you know, thank yeah. you. Yeah, I don't know which, which house you you mean, but yeah. Tell me, tell me, brother. Tell me, tell me. Tell me, what else? What else can this mean? Oh my God, my. It, it could mean he doesn't love his wife. It could mean he doesn't love his wife. Okay, mm -hmm. All right, very good. Very good, right? So that is another possibility, right? It could mean that he doesn't love his wife. Okay? That is correct. That is that is 100% a possibility. Very good. What else, guys? What else can this mean? It must mean he was with his friend. Very good, right? That is a chamber that is not so bad, right? It must mean that, right, that he was with his friend. Okay, very good. What else do we have, guys? He must mean eating with his mother. It must mean he was eating with his mother very good okay very good what else say so let's use it could mean guys it could or it might right so what else what else it could mean he was only eating pupusas with a friend okay so very good right so we can say Right, it, it could mean he was eating, he was only right, only eating pupusas with a friend. That is correct. Very good. What else? What else, ladies and gentlemen? Uh huh. Teacher, tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, I I could be. It must mean a lot mm -hmm. to to him to eat his pupusas because she reminds him of the words words of her being nothing. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Can you repeat your example again? It's must. It's must mean a lot it, to him. It must mean a lot. A lot to him. To him. To eat his pupusas. A lot for him. To what? To eat his to eat, pupusas. To eat his pupusas. Because. Because. She reminds because she reminds 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 superior in her. <laughs> she reminds him of su peor es nada. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, very good, very good. Okay, good job. All right, guys, good job. Okay, you all gave me guys really good examples. What this means, guys, hey, you know what? This is you know the People who told me guys must or could, 
right? Esos son las más chambrosas, because casi que asumen, guys, right? Casi que asumen, right? What, what's happening here, okay? So that is that is the the what we use this for, okay? Any question, guys, on how on how we use this? We're good. All right. So now, guys, Peter, we I have also, a question. Tell me. Uh, you can use this topic for future or past. This is in the present, just in the present. Only in the present. Yes, only the present. Yes, we have past models, yes, but the ones that we're seeing right now, they, they, they are for the present, right? And it's a possibility. So it's about a possibility in the present, yes. Right? So it just means, guys, debe significar o puede significar. Got it? It's saying that, right? I'm not talking about the future. I'm just, you know, I'm just... Uh, Pretending I know something, all right? So then, guys, that's how we use models for that. It must mean, it could mean, right? All right, it could mean something. Now, we also have, guys, adverbs. And for adverbs, guys, we can use maybe, it possibly, which is, you know, it may be, it means. Repeat, guys, maybe it means. Maybe it means. Maybe and maybe. All right? Maybe. Or it possibly means. It possibly means. means. Okay, or we can say it definitely means. It definitely, it means. It definitely, definitely means. means. Okay, definitely so means. notice, notice, okay, using the same example that we had before, we can use adverbs instead of models. And this is a way on how you can compare them both. Check this out, right? If we go back to the whiteboard, instead of, instead of saying, guys, Right, we're gonna instead of saying, you know, it may mean he stayed outside at night, we can say maybe. maybe. See, we start with maybe, maybe it means, right? Maybe it means, and we do the same thing. Maybe it means he stayed out at night. Okay, so do my favor, guys. I want you all guys to complete them all using the adverbs, okay? Instead of saying, it might mean he stayed outside at night, we can say it possibly, right? It possibly means he stayed out, he stayed outside, right? Outside at night, right? And it could mean, right? It means the same. It possibly means he stayed out of time. It definitely means. It must mean. It must mean. It must. We forgot it must mean here, guys. It must mean that he was with his friend, right? So we can say, how do we say this one, guys? It definitely means, right? It definitely. Probably it means. No, we're going to use definitely here because we're using must. It definitely means, means. he was or that he, right? If you mean that he was he eating was with his friend, his mother, right? Or his friend, right? Very good. So guys, I want you guys to complete the rest, okay? Complete guys, everything from this point. It could mean he was only eating pupusas with a friend. It must mean a lot for him to eat his pupusas because now this, this one is not, okay, this is a, this is not a good example, all right? Let's say it must mean he was talking with his niece, all right? Let's use, it could mean he was meeting, you know, he, he just, he just, met a new person it could mean they were just studying right <laughs> or it may mean it may mean uh they just went out um, for lunch okay 
So I want you to transform this, guys. Okay? Quiero que transformen toda esta, guys. Desde donde dice, it could mean he, he was only eating pupusas with a friend. I want you to transform them using, maybe it, may be, maybe it means, right? Or it possibly means, or it definitely means, okay? Transform them in your notebook, guys, and then I'm going to ask you the answers, for, for the answers, okay? Thank you. Teacher, tell me, tell me. Uh, could you repeat again, please? The instructions. Yes. Yeah, I needed to complete the, in your notebook. Um, this part right here, but you're gonna complete them using ad, using adverbs, okay? So, for example, in vez de decir it could mean he was only eating pupusas with a friend, you're gonna say maybe. Or it it possibly means he was eating he was only eating pupusas with a friend, okay? Me van a usar adverse en vez de models. Las mismas oraciones pero con adverse. Got it? Yes, teacher. All right, very good, very good. I finished the chair. All right. So, what do you have? Uh, okay, the chair con adverbios. Tell me. Uh, okay, the chair. Uh, maybe it means uh, maybe it means he has another woman. Maybe it means he has another woman. Very good. Good job. What else? 
It possible means he has another home. Possibly. Possibly, not possible. Possible. Possibly. Possibly. Means. It possibly means he has another home. It definitely means that he left his wife. Very good. Good job. Okay. Good chambers. Good job. Good job. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Who else, guys? Who else? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Maybe it means he was only eating pupusas with a friend. Okay. It possibly means he just met a new person. Okay. It def definitely. Definitely. No, de it definitely means that they just went out for lunch. All right. Okay. Very good. Very good. Right. Thank you. Good, good job. Good job. Anybody else, guys? Me. Go ahead. Maybe it means he was eating with a partner of your company. Okay. If possible, possible means he was eating with another woman. Okay. In the it definitely means that he's cheating on his wife. Okay, very good. Good job. All right, very good. Anybody else, guys? Perfect examples, guys. Perfect examples. What else? Me, teacher. Go ahead. It possible it possibly means that he was eating pupusa with a friend. Maybe it that he was talking with his knife. His nice knees, knees. Yes. It possible. It possibly mean that he was meet a new person. Maybe if that they were just studying. It possibly mean that they just went out for lunch. Very good. Good job. Perfect example. Good job. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. Anybody else, guys? All right, so that is, guys, how you can use modals and adverbs in the same situation, right? To talk about things that are very likely to have happened or very likely to not have ha had uh, have happened, okay? Very good. Guys, uh, how are you doing with the platform? Did you complete section one, two, three, and four? Yes, teacher. Awesome, please, guys. We need to have completed everything from section one until section four, all right? We're gonna be seeing the rest of the um, the rest of the topics this week, okay? Guys, so, uh, I have a question. Tell me. Where is the topics for this class, for these classes? And, and, the, and the platform, if you go to the video, the, the, the first section from the video, that's, that's where you see the topic that we are talking about today. Like this is from section, this is the, the, the beginning of section four, I think. Yes, ah, this is the beginning of section four. Los temas de las clases son los mismos que están en la plataforma de, de las tareas. Yes, exactly. Ah, yo pensé que estaban aparte. No, no Spanish, please. Oh, But yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's the same topics, right? Um, it's the same topics, yes. All right. Very good, guys. Anything else? Yeah, teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, <clears throat> with maybe, uh, because I remember that uh, sometimes uh, uh, I've seen it at the end of the sentences, but I don't know if uh, if we can use at the beginning and at the end as well, or just at the beginning. It just at the beginning. This? Models and the adverbs, yeah, just the beginning. You can't no, no, use no. them like that. No, it, uh, my job is just uh, with maybe. Uh, for example, uh, I can say um, uh, the sentences and at the end maybe because I remember that I've seen it at the end as well, but I don't remember if I. Not with this structure, brother. 
but not with this structure oh, because okay. can you say if because the structure is maybe it means right so can i say oh they were just having lunch maybe it means can i say that mm, no but for example i know i know uh, i know i know what you're trying to say but that is not the okay mira te voy a decir eso en español rapidito Sé lo que estás tratando de preguntar. No tiene que ver con el topic que estamos viendo. Sí, puedes decir maybe al final. Es gramáticamente incorrecto. Si se puede decir, agregas una coma y lo pones. Y solo se usa la palabra maybe. Pero no puedes usar maybe means al final. Toda la no, frase no. maybe means cannot be used at the end. Sí, sí, eso sí. Solo con la palabra maybe tenía la duda nada más. Yes, you can eso, say, eso, eso, sé, eso sí, si lo sé, maybe it means no. Pero solo maybe sí lo he visto. Yes, you can say, yeah, he was... You know, he was just talking to her, maybe. Yeah. Right? But that is incorrect, by the way. People say it, but it is grammatically incorrect. It should be used at the beginning. Okay? Okay. Um, but if you use it at the end, you place a comma, and then you can use it like that. Right? But just the word maybe, not, not maybe it means. Right? But yeah, you can use it like that at the end, but it's not. Si tienes que hacer una prueba, nunca lo pongas al final. Right? It's incorrect. Right? Very good. Good question, man. Any other question, guys? All good? All right. So then uh, I'll see you tomorrow then, guys. Take care. See you guys. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night, teacher.